Hello, good afternoon everyone. I'm from EQ International. My name is Prasoon Agrawal and today I'm here with Mr. William Zhao who is the Vice President of SunGrow Power Supply Company. Hi William, how are you? Oh, thank you very much, uh, Prasoon. <laughs> nice to meet you. Again, again. So William, I would like to start the interview with a brief introduction about SunGrow Power Supply and uh, what product offerings does it have for the Indian market and what new has it uh, brought since, uh, since the past one year? Uh, uh, for the past one year, uh, we focus on the utility market, so we pr uh, uh, offer a large central inverter like 2.5 MW containerized solution. Uh, and for some smaller size project, we also offer some 60 kW. Uh, it's very popular in Europe, a string inverter. So uh, our main product is 2.5 MW and a 60 kW string inverter, these two, yeah. Uh, how much inverters, I mean, have you, uh, in terms of quantity, in terms of megawatt quantities, what is the size you have uh, already shipped to India and what is the upcoming uh, pipeline for the next few months? Okay, uh, for the past 12 months, we shipped around 1.5 gigawatts uh, in India. And we're planning to ship another 3 gigawatts for the next, uh, for the following three, uh, 12 months. Yeah. Most of them, yeah, most of them will be in the utility section. Something on the technology front, William, means can you enlighten our viewers how SunGrow's technology is differentiated with uh, with that those of its competitors? Okay, uh, SunGrow is a very unique company. We focus on the technology. Uh, one third of our people is from r and team, so we can always lead in the inverter R&D uh, or to say new product launch. Uh, for example, for the central inverter, we are the first company focused on the container solution. Uh, container can give the inverter better environment suitable and easy commission and save a lot of troubles for EPC, save a lot of time. So containerized solution is a uh, uh, create, this idea is created by Sangru and uh, before Sangru joined the Indian market, uh, it's not a very popular idea, but today it's almost the uh, Indian uh, central inverter uh, industry standard. And uh, for the string inverter, Sangru dominates 25% market share in Germany already. So we introduce our German product into India. Uh, for the future, we believe as uh, land acquisition is harder and harder. Uh, more land is irregular, like small hill, like mountain. Uh, for, for the land, uh, not so good, suitable for the stream water. Uh, we introduced our stream water into this market. Uh, we always provide the largest stream water in the industry. For example, this round, uh, we uh, we provide our 125 kilowatt string inverter into, in, into India market. You know, several years before, 125 kilowatt be between to the central region. But today, Sangru, due to our strong R&D team, we can make it at the string inverter size. You mentioned the you know different uh, geographical locations of India, and India has uh, many different climatic regions. So, how? Uh, SunGrow's inverters have been performing in these different regions and what has been the customer feedback uh, for you? Uh, uh, India is a very large nation. Uh, you can say seashore application, uh, desert or some, some place maybe in the highland. Uh, so, uh, but from to say in the world, we can say this kind of geography area. SunGrow deployed more than 40 gigawatts globally. Uh, we suitable for all kinds of situation. Uh, find, uh, that's why we promotion containerized uh, central inverter into the Indian market because this is the most uh, environmental friendly. Uh, you know, for an uh, inverter, if you give them additional shell, that is a uh, container, this means protection much better than single inverter. So, and for the uh, and the Indian market, as the time goes on, uh, currently most of our land is a uh, flight. But as the time goes on, uh, some utility project, the, the land may be not so good. So for that kind of situation, uh, it's suitable for the stream water. Some are also offering stream water for this market. Yeah. Um, what is the size of your company? I mean, if we speak in terms of capacity, uh, manufacturing capacity, or if you can share any financial numbers with us. Okay. Uh, for our uh, uh, shipment, last year we shipped uh, uh, more than 11 gigawatts globally. Uh, for the past uh, half year, uh, this is uh, uh, first half year 
uh, yeah, uh, we shipped 11, uh, close to around 11 gigawatts globally. So it's almost same as the last year. Some are increasing very fast. Any manufacturing facilities planned in India? Uh, yes, uh, we decided to open our manufacturing uh, center in the Bangalore region. Yeah, uh, it will be uh, it's, uh, it will be ready at the Q2 next year. Uh, coming back to the technology part, I mean, how much of uh, your company's uh, uh, revenue goes into research and development? What is the percent of your revenue or profits that goes into research and development of new products? Yeah. Uh, our R&D expense is around 5% for our revenue. Yeah, uh, because our revenue base today is very large. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's that's a, that's a valid point. Actually, your competitor's TBA is 12%, <laughs> as they told me recently. For the companies, Right, right, right. Uh, something on the on the Indian markets policy front, Indian government's policy front. I mean, how has the policy regulation, policy environment has been for Chinese manufacturers uh, in the recent time, and how has it affected your company? Yeah, uh, for uh, we think this kind of policy not so much influence to us, uh, because each nation has the right to decide his policy. For all the company. Uh, Competing in this market must must be suitable for all the regulation. So the only uh, we cannot blame any regulation. We what we need to do is suit this kind of environment, find a better way to survive to suitable for this market, and uh, find a chance to grow. Yeah. So that was a really nice speaking opportunity, William. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.